Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. I'm James, and I'm going to review a fountain pen today. And today I have one that's a little bit more unusual. This is the Pilot Plumix, and it's a, maybe even a little bit of a controversial pen. It is uh, a pen from Pilot that they made so that you could do some kind of more stylized, italicized writing. So it has a flat nib, a flat medium nib but it's got some interesting characteristics in its design and in the nib that I want to share with you in this review today. It also has in the design a, a little bit of a, it's kind of like a cloud. People look at it and they see all different kinds of things. Some people will see a uh, rocket. I personally see a squid. If you look at the cap, you can see what I'm talking about. And as we get to the close up here in a minute, it, it, that's what it looks like, but really, I think they meant for it to look a little bit like a typical old-style quill with a very modern take. And uh, looked ends up looking a little bit like a, uh, a glass dip pen to me. But it's definitely an odd pen. So let's flip the camera, and we'll look at it more closely, and we'll look at the design. We'll see how it writes and how it doesn't write, and whether or not it meets the expectations of the people who are buying this pen, because I think that's actually an interesting part of the story of this pen, is the expectations, what Pilot was trying to do, what the customer expects it to do, and what it may or may not do. So let's look at the pen a little bit more closely. Okay, so here is our close-up of the Pilot Plumix. You can see they, you, can, you can't mistake what pen it is. It's right there on the side. And you can see better now what I mean by the look of the squid on the cap. It's an unusual cap. We'll start there. It's an unusual cap. There is no clip, no way to just throw that in a pocket, which doesn't bother me, but it might bother some. You notice the shape of the pen. It has a one of those... Uh, three angled grips, kind of like a Lamy Safari or the Pilot Penmanship, I think, if you're familiar with that pen. But this shape is so unusual, and I think they were going for like a modern quill. I can, I can see that in the design, a modern dip pen. Uh, if you're familiar with those, it's kind of like a glass dip pen, but this is all plastic, translucent plastic. You can get it in different colors. I chose kind of the darker gray, and actually on that I like it, but it is it's an odd and unusual design. And I don't mean that in a negative way. That's going to be in the eye of the beholder. But it, it's definitely not your average fountain pen. It does take, of course, Pilot cartridges. And it comes with one or two in the, in the package. I want to say it came with one. It's been a little while. And so this one is blue ink. That's what it came with. It is proprietary. And if you've watched my other videos, you know I'm not a great big fan of proprietary uh, cartridges, but that is what it is. It is, I think, I think it would be a good candidate for an eyedropper. I haven't tried it. I haven't, I haven't bothered, and I'll get to why I haven't bothered here in a little bit. It's, it's an unusual pen. To me, the, the grip actually feels good, and that doesn't bother me. You'll see in other reviews and in, in customer reviews uh, on Jet Pens or Amazon or whatever, there are people that don't like that, and that is always a personal preference. It depends on what kind of a pin grip you already have, whether or not that's something that, that you're going to like. But, for, but the nib is the story, and I have some, some qualms with this nib. I can get around the crazy design. It's kind of different, and that's not a bad thing. And actually, in a way, it's, it's not a bad-looking pen to me. Some people are going to disagree. I do think, to be honest, if, if you hate it as a pen, there's something about that shape that tells me, let me put the cap back on and you'll see what I mean, I bet. There's something about this pen that tells me it might be a successfully converted fishing lure. <laughs> I, just, I see a fishing lure. Maybe it's because I see a squid in that cap, but I see a lure in this pen. And maybe you put some, a little bit, glue a couple of weights here in the barrel and, and figure out a way to put some hooks on it. It might work. I also had thoughts that it might make a good bobber while fishing. And that may give you a hint at what I'm going to tell you when we get to the writing test. It's a pen that takes some getting used to. And that nib is really the hardest part. I actually can totally get with the odd design. That's not a problem. But the nib, I feel like there's something that Pilot was going for that maybe they hit the mark they wanted. Okay, Maybe when someone at Pilot sits down and writes with this pen, it's exactly what they were shooting for. 
but I find it to be scratchy. I find, and that's not uh, even an angle thing. If, if I were writing with it at the wrong angle, scratchiness would be my own problem. And maybe there's a little bit of that. It probably is. But no matter how right you get the angle of this nib, on most of the papers that I've tried it on, it's scratchy. And I don't know about you, but for me, scratchy, that's a big problem. And so that's, that's really where this pen and I typically part. In fact, I've actually considered getting rid of this nib and just putting a normal, regular, fine or medium nib on the pen, and I think I would actually, I would actually like the pen. Just use it as a normal pen, not what they've designed it for. And again, maybe it meets the marks they were going for, but here's the thing. When I read in, in reviews and when I bought it for myself, what I have seen is that a lot of us bought this pen uh, thinking that it would be great for italics, and I think that's what they were going for. And maybe we were expecting, I know I was, a little more flexibility in the nib, that it would be able to add some flair to writing. And it, it, it doesn't. That nib is hard. It is not very flexible. And I feel like if Pilot had put a flexible, a more flexible nib, similar to what they did, but with flex, more flexible metal, they probably would have knocked it out the park. Okay, so let's see how this pen writes, and you'll see some of, of what I'm saying, I'm sure. So this is, and I'm going to try to write a little bit slower than I usually do because you pretty much have to with this nib. If you write with it, uh, just at, for me, at my normal speed, it doesn't work very well. So this is the Pilot. Plumix, and it has a medium, and it is a flat nib. And you can hear the scratchiness on that paper. And this is a good, uh, smooth paper. This is not a really scratchy paper. It just seems to me that that nib is a bit, and you get this with flat nibs sometimes, but that nib is just too sharp at the edges and too inflexible, I do believe. And so you find yourself trying to push down to get, you can see the mistake I made there, trying to push down a little bit to get it to do what you think it's supposed to do. And again, some of this may be me, but I believe a lot of it is that nib. And it just doesn't quite want to do what I think that it was made to do, and that's to give that a little bit of an uh, italicized feel. Now, there with the numbers, uh, maybe that's a little bit better, and you can see that what they're going for. It's just not as dramatic a, an effect as I think most consumers expect it to be. And again, maybe Pilot got exactly the target they wanted, but I think the consumers, in looking at, at what I think my impressions of this pen should have been and are. And then you look at what most other reviewers, whether that's consumers on websites that sell the pen, or whether that's on YouTube looking at other reviews, there seems to be a, a pretty wide consensus that it just isn't quite doing what people expected it to do. And there's some people who are able to coax out of it what they want, and that's great. And if that's you, then grab the pen. I think it's a, in terms of value for the quality of the, overall quality of the pen, provided that you like the nib, that's, that's the clincher. If you like the nib, then I think the quality of the pen for the price that they charge is fair. I, I think it's, it's good. I don't think it's just outstanding because I don't like the nib, but I think the quality of the pen overall is quite good. It's, it's what you expect from Pilot, and that's what makes me have so many questions about what they were shooting for with this nib. A flexible nib could have made this a very cool pen. All right, like and subscribe. We're going to have some other pens come up soon, and uh, I think you're going to like some of the pens that I have to share with you. You know, every now and then we're going to have one of these that's a li little controversial or, or didn't work out because that's just life. But like and subscribe. Come back. Have a great week.